Hey, what's up, guys? Clocked Assassin here, and today I'm bringing you some Star Trek Online. Um, uh, let me just apologize in advance, because my internet has been really, really terrible. Like, as you can see now, I've got a server not responding thing up top, and, uh, yeah, I'll get it fixed sooner or later. Um, but, yeah, today I'm bringing you one of my favorite ships in the game, and that ship, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> is... Any day now. Come on. There we go. Alright, the Fleet Avenger class. This is my favorite ship, and, uh, whoops, it looks like it's damaged. Hang on, let me go get that fixed. But, yeah, the, uh, Avenger is my favorite ship. Uh, I have the regular version, but, uh, that one, I just, I decided not to use the, tor the console that comes on it. Uh, just because, you know, I like the consoles that I have on it better. Okay, now, what I've done is I've maximized the forward firepower using five dual beam banks, um, and those are all fleet, of course, but, uh, this ship is using a build called an ox to bat build, and that's one of the hardest builds in PvP to come up with and understand. Um, alright, and... Yeah, but I'll show you the duty officers, uh, that you need for this kind of build later. Um, but basically, you use those the, the two abilities, um, auxiliary power to the emergency battery, and three technicians, and, like, it recharges your abilities really quickly. Now, if, like I said, maximize my forward pi firepower with those five beam banks. Use that two-piece set, the warp core and the om omnidirectional uh, beam array that gives me a 10% boost to anti-proton damage. Um... And then I've got the kinetic cutting beam and assimilated module um, to give me that two-piece set. Then I've got the three-piece adapted Mako. Um, and I've got uh, the subspace field modulator. It gives me extra resistance if I ever want it. And I've got two fleet uh, enhanced RCS accelerators. Um, and they also give me a plus turn. So, you know... Kind of gives me a little boost to my turn rate, you know, because it's helpful to have it on a ship that wants its forward firepower maxed out. So, um, yeah, but uh, just use, like, two of those to help out your turn rate. And I've also got, like I said, the simulator module. And I've got Plasmionic Leech on there, which is, you know, one of the more expensive consoles nowadays, but I got it when it first came out, so... It, w it only cost me, like, one mil, but now it costs, like, 20 or 30. I've got a fleet emitter array with shield heal and minus threat to give me uh, less thre threat resistance. Then I've got a Mark 12 blue field generator. Gives me extra uh, shield capacity. Um, you know, I know it's not purple, but it's the best I've got. Now, all these four consoles boost my anti-proton damage, but f um, I know they look different. These three right here... I'll give me boost to crit chance, um, but this last one over here boosts my crit severity. So, you know, helps me crit and have a heavier crit. Now I've got emergency power to weapons one, uh, and like I said, you need two ox to bats, um, you know, for the ox to bat thing. And you need one of every other ability. So I've got a tactical team, uh, um, and a beam fire at will, attack pattern beta, and omega. I've got um, an emergency power to shields. Uh, you need two of those, you know, balance it out a little bit. An engineering team to help with hull, and my second ox to bat ability, and reverse shield polarity three. Now that one you have to buy off the exchange. You cannot train it. I've got uh, transfers to shield strength one and hazard emitters two on there to give me some more heals. All right, now. The duty officers that you need for this build, you need three technicians. Now, I know these aren't purple, but, you know, the purple ones cost 12 mil. Basically, those recharge your, your bridge officer time whenever you use Ox to Bat. So, um, basically, with those three, you see how it gives 8%. With those three, it would add up to 24% um, recharge time. So, whenever I hit an Ox to Bat ability... All my bridge officer abilities get recharged by 24%. That does not work on shared cooldown, though. That only works um, with regular cooldown. So that's why you only need one of every kind of ability. And then I've got two uh, energy weapons officers that, you know, got a 3.75 chance of 
giving me shield power uh, whenever I, you know, hit an enemy with an energy weapon or fire an energy weapon, one of the two. They work, so I use them. But, uh, yeah, so those give me some extra shields. Um, and uh, let me see. What are the reputation powers? got to show those. Um, oh, here we go. So, in reputation powers, I've got, uh, plus 7.5% hull, and then plus 10% shield capacity, um, then plus 3% uh, accuracy whenever you use tag team. And then, uh, for my last, uh, ability over to the right, um, it does something. <laughs> Um, uh, I don't remember why I selected it right now, but, uh, you know, I might remember sometime. So, um, yeah, those are my reputation abilities. Now, let me go up into space, uh, just to show you what Ox to Bat can do. Alright. Alright, here we are. Now, um... Even though I have a fleet version, I stuck with the regular Avenger nacelles and whatnot. And it's this ship is the first ship that came with the three cruiser commands, which uh, I love. One of them, um, oh, what's this? Somebody challenged me. No, thank you. Uh, I've got it busy. Um, but yeah, this was the first ship to come with cruiser commands. And now I know it doesn't come with all of them, but it's it's works. This the weapons one, uh, fifteen. Or 25% chance, or 25% less weapon drain whenever using energy weapons. And then the shields help with my shield resistance and recharge rate. Um, and then the oh, what does this guy want? Good lord, what this guy's lieutenant and he's challenging a vice admiral and avenger. No, thank you. Uh, but that strategic maneuvering gives me a boost to flight speed and turn rate. Uh, now, let me show you what Oxtabat does. This only applies to bridge officer abilities, so let me show you what I do whenever I go into attack. Uh, all the buttons I press. Oxtabat is the last thing you want to hit whenever hitting a series of, uh, buttons. So let me just, um, show you for an example. Um, I'd hit Tag Team, Beam Fire Will, and Omega, and Merge Power Weapons, and then Watch. All of those except Beta got a cooldown thing because Beta is on a shared cooldown from Omega. And that um, aux aux to bat drains your auxiliary power, but sets the auxiliary other aux to bat to an 8 second cooldown. So you see my beam fire at will and tag team have already recharged. Tag pattern Omega hasn't because it's got a longer cooldown. So, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, just use those whenever... Use Ox to Bat last whenever you hit a bunch of abilities, and uh, it'll work like a charm. Um, like, this is the most advanced, one of the most advanced PvP builds, and it's very hard to understand the first time. Alright, let me go grab some friends, and then I'm going to do an STF to show this thing off. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, do, do, do. Here we go. Infected. Now, I'm just waiting for um, them to start off, so. But, uh, yeah, if I do get dropped, it's because of my internet's not the game. So, I'm sorry about that in advance. I hope I don't get dropped during this. But, you know, you can never tell. Alright, here we go. Any day now. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, we're doing infected. This is one of the fastest STFs to do if you have a good enough team. Now, I'm teamed up with one of my friends, um, but uh, couldn't get any others. They were all busy. Alright, here we go.
Yep, yep, yep. Okay, what's my what's my buddy flying? Oh, he's flying a he's flying a Federation dreadnought. I have the uh, I have one of those. I think. <laughs> yeah, but look at how fast all those beams fire, and that adds up to an enormous amount of damage, which is super great, especially in. Uh, when firing on multiple targets. It works uh, even better when firing just on one target. And not even when I'm using fire will. I'm dealing a lot of damage to those guys. Alright, here we go. Now just me firing on this, and look at how fast I stripped its shields. One volley of anti-proton dual beam banks were able to strip a cube's shields. Now as you can see, the uh, hull of that thing is dropping pretty rapidly. But uh, that, um, uh, On this Oxtabat build, I, I liked to um, maximize my forward firepower. But there are other Oxtabat builds that I know people have set up that work amazingly, that people use beam arrays. And if you want to go that route, that's completely fine. Um, if, you, if you're going to set up the ship the same way I did, basically what you want to do, swap those five dual beam banks that I have in the front out for um, advanced fleet anti-proton beam arrays with accuracy times two and damage times two. Oh, well, taking some fire from stupid spheres. Alright, let's get this transformer knocked out before the nanite spheres get here. Come on. Alright, wow. Now, yeah, see, I've already done a big number on those spheres by just using fire at will. Now, I'm sorry I don't have a DPS tracker running, but I have taken this build into PvP, and it's worked pretty well. So, if you ever want to use this build, um, don't be afraid to. I mean, this is proof of how well it works. And yeah, whenever you hit Ox to bed, it recharges the abilities so quickly that you only need one of every kind. So essentially, with an Ox to bed build, you have two of everything. Two tag teams, two um, beam fire at wills, two attack pattern, whatever. But there is one thing you never, ever, ever want to use on an Ox to bed build. And that ability is called Auxiliary Power to the Structural Integrity Field. That draws from your auxiliary power, but with an ox to bat build, uh, it drains your auxiliary power and sometimes even takes it offline. So that ability would be rendered useless, essentially. That's why I've got an engineering team, because that relies on um, the amount of crew I have. And a uh, hazard emitter is kind of, kind of um, a heal for me. I just use it mainly to get rid of the debuffs from uh, enemies like the plasma that always ticks me off like insanely and uh, as you can see what's happening with my shields right now is the um, Romulan plus 10% shield capacity bonus I think look how fast I'm taking out that generator and I'm the only one firing on it 50, it went down to 50% with just one volley of anti-proton dual beam banks. Now, on Infected, the generators are actually stronger than the ones that are in Kittimer Accord. Uh, the reason for that being is because um, in Infected, all the entire team is supposed to stick together, combine firepower, uh, so that's why they gave the generators some more health. But uh, in Kittimer, everybody spread out, so they made the uh, generators easy, a little bit easier to kill for people. So, all right, come on, let's get this uh, transformer knocked out.
again, I've just been using fire at will, and I took out almost half of that sphere in front of me. I don't know what the other sphere's at right now, though. Oh, well, basically the same thing. All right, let me turn around here. You get those uh, dual beam banks on them. Especially firing on one target, all five of those dual beam banks with fire at will um, work insanely well uh, because they just deal so much damage so quickly. Beam fire at will one, um, or any beam fire at will for that matter, does not just boost uh, the amount of targets you can fire on. But if you're just firing on one or two targets, like I am right now, it boosts the um it also boosts the rate of fire for all beam weapons. This does not apply to cannons, it only applies to beam arrays and dual beam banks. Alright, let me get over to the other side of the gate because I managed to aggro the tack cube a little bit. And uh quite frankly I don't want to try and see if this thing can withstand both the uh, tactical cube and the gate uh, fire at the same time. All right, and there goes the gateway. And we've still got time on the optional. Attack Power Omega, get in closer a bit, and pound them. Well, it looks like one of my teammates is getting pounded quite a bit. Uh, let me go over and send him a couple of heals. They look like they need it. Oh yeah, definitely. Some hull and shields. Alright, while I'm taking out this tag cube, um, on this character especially, I have a ton of lockbox and lobby ships, so I will definitely be doing let's plays about um, pretty much each and every one of those. Uh, I have the Cardassian Galore uh, Gemhadar attack ship, that was a recent um, acquisition of mine. Um, the Gemhadar Dreadnought Carrier... Uh, Wells Temporal Science Vessel, I got that out of two lockboxes, which was really lucky. Um, and a few others, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll probably be doing Let's Plays about them. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the, uh, um, no, not Temporal Science, what am I thinking? This is the uh, Fleet Avenger for you, and I hope this has uh, inspired you enough to hopefully get one, um, or the Fleet version. Uh, and I personally really like the fleet version a lot. It's uh, very, very powerful, as you've seen. And yeah, if you have any questions about uh, Ox to Bad abilities, find me in the game. Um, uh, you'll find me at 15 of 78 at Dolvar, D O L V A R. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, thanks, YouTube.